Liba's shop here. And I don't know if I'm saying your name right there. And we've got Nature Remedy Garden. All right. So very um, first impressions. Your shop looks a little a little cold. So it uh, <laughs> almost right. Well, good. I'm proud. It's almost right. Maybe Liba. I probably made it worse. Liba. Liba. I don't know. I, I can't. You, I can't get. I don't know how to say it actually. So I'm just gonna sound stupid. The, Liba. Maybe. Hmm, is that it? Wow. So the first in impressions, okay, perfect. We got it worked out. We got it worked out. Um, so for your shop, I would definitely recommend a logo and a banner because that's going to make your shop look much more friendly, much more welcoming. And we would be happy to put one together for you right here. If you go to the membership site and do the click on logo and banner design, um, and it'll take you to this page right here. And well, let me pop in a link to it for you. And you can come in here, request a logo and banner. We'll put one together and make it look really cute and friendly. And you can see some of the others we've put together for people. And uh, we'd be happy to do that. So that is going to make your shop pop a little bit. Um, I would recommend a personal photo around, you know, for yourself to just add a little bit more personality. And then I would also recommend um, filling in your shop about section. So you really just want to build the foundation for your shop. And we have a whole training about this. Let's go to the um, live Etsy training workshops. And let's see here how to, where is this one at? How to build your shop workshop. Okay. So this workshop is, would be great for you because we're going to talk about how to set up your, you know, your, your, basically your shop foundation, which is you've got to put together your policies. Um, you've got to put together your logo, your categories, and a few things like that. And we have some templates as well. If we go right here to the templates uh, and we go to the fill in the blank shop policy template. So this is going to be great. I'll pop in a link for this as well. And it's basically just going to give you some little instructions and direction on how to put together your shop policies right here. And it's important to do that because then Etsy knows how you're going to take care of their customers. If something gets broken shipping or if they want to return it or something like that. So you will have to decide what your policies are on all of those different details. But once you've done that, you can put them in there. And those little details are going to bring make your shop look a little bit more warm and friendly. And, and it's going to improve your shop's reputation and, and you know ability for Etsy to trust you with your customers. So once you've done those details, let's talk about your listings next. And we'll go ahead. Let's look at this one first. We've got a Rishi t uh, Tincture. Gan Ganoderma Lingzi. Okay. And so it's a nature remedy garden. Tincture, two four fluid ounce, four fluid ounce, keep out of the children. And here's the tincture itself. So I love the label. The label looks really cute. Dry herb, one to three ratio, mushroom, some different things. And then here's what it looks like in the glass. And then here's the label a little bit closer up. Okay, so very cute. So let's let's talk about it. We've got um, 30, 60, and 120. And where is this coming from? Ships from Canada. Okay, so that's why we got the millimeters. I'm like, not so big in USA that uses a millimeter. So for this one right here, there's a few things. I think you've got to you've got to warm the product up. You've got to make it a little bit more friendly and someone had a suggestion a few minutes ago deborah was saying maybe some greenery around your beautiful products that's a great idea so some greenery i'm always always talking about getting some greenery into your your products so let's just look up the competition and see what we have over there and reishi tincture so looking up the competition there's a few different things popping up and the first one that's really grabbed my attention is this one here with all these different mushrooms um and i think that's what was inside yours and then look at this guy this one is really eye-catching they took the photo and they put all these cute little mushrooms and this is a tactic you can use on any oh, lots and lots of products guys if you sell candles you should take all the ingredients that go into your candle and then just literally lay it out around the candle just like this one 
Um, so if you had a, a lavender scented candle, you should put some lavender flowers and vanilla and whatever goes into it. And the same thing goes for your product here. So this one, you can you could lay out some mushrooms or some different things, whatever goes into this guy, um, whatever you put inside this one. And I already see some pictures that, so it looks really cute. And it looks like there's a few different things you've got maybe the Ganoderma mushroom and then the uh, maybe another one. I don't know. But you could kind of lay it out and that would make it look a lot friendlier. But also just taking these pictures in the daylight, look how much friendlier and just it just looks vibrant and happy to see the sunlight in the background and the green trees. And if we scroll through, we can see some more examples of pictures of their of their products. And it, it gives you this 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 thought soothing. Thank you, Deborah. It gives you a thought that your your product is just going to be it gives you this feeling like, oh, wow, they really picked these mushrooms right out of the woods. These are such beautiful mushrooms. They're so unique. They're so cool. And and they're, look at this. There's a chicken. I don't know why there's a chicken, but you know, whatever you can do to grab people's attention, it makes it me feel like I'm getting a little bite of nature in this bottle here. So that is a, a big opportunity for you. I think going out there and finding ways to make your product pop out a little bit. Yours right now, it feels a little cold because it's inside and it's tile. And I can tell that the it's like an indoor lighting. And uh, I think just taking this outside and taking some pictures of it with some grass and some sunlight is going to make it pop out a lot. Let's see. We got a question from Tammy. Did you have a site that we could put in our shop name and see if it is available on Pinterest? Ah, yes. We do, Tammy. And Rachel is quick. She's already got the uh, suggestion there which is namechecker.com. So um, yeah, this is a great little platform, guys. If you wanna see if you're, if, you know, if you're picking out a new shop name, um, this is a great little website because you can see if your, your social media usernames are available. So you could say like Charles Mushroom Shop, if I was gonna open my own mushroom shop. Looks like nobody's taken Charles Mushroom Shop on Facebook or some of these others. So good to see. Let's go back over and look at the keywords. So the keywords, very important. On this one right here, if we look, we, the first one we looked up is Reishi Tincture. And let's go ahead and let's check. So that one's got 743. So that's not bad. Um, now I will say guys, your keyword sizes are going to vary depending on how big your niche is overall. So obviously like tinctures um, is not like as big a niche as like necklaces. You know, we, there's 22,000 listings with the keyword tincture. Whereas if we look up like bracelet, there's gonna be like 3 million, you know, 3.8 million. So you've always gotta, you always wanna take that into consideration um, for your, your listings overall. Cause sh you know, just because this keyword only has 743, it doesn't mean it's a bad keyword. It's still a great keyword because overall it's not a really large niche. Um, okay, that's a great suggestion. I like that. Adding the salves and the seeds, that will definitely be positive for your shop there, Leva. So um, the first keyword you got is Reishi. This one right here, let's check it out. I think it's it might get some searches for people. Um, it, but it is very, you know, unique. So we've got God, God, Ganoderma Lingzi Tincture, 387. Not bad. I mean, as your, your niche is a little bit smaller. Um, but, you know, I always just look, like I always say, just look at what other people are using and see if you can get any ideas from them. Like if we look at, here we go, wild reishi mushroom tincture. So let's just try this keyword by itself, mushroom. And there we go, 12, 8, or 1328. So that's a really good keyword right there, 1328. And you can see the, the more simple the keywords are sometimes. I see this a lot with like stones, like bracelets. Um, you know, people will be using really unusual, it's not unusual, like lapis lazuli bracelet. And I, I, you know, I know a lot of people do know what lapis lazuli is, but a lot of people don't. And a lot of people would rather just search blue bracelet. Um, and the same thing for yours here. This name is a very unique name, Ganoderma lingzi. So just going with using that as one of them, but then also using some very simple keywords like mushroom tincture is going to be better for you too. Let's check out here. 
So this one, super tincture, vegan, wellness, onic, terp, tonic, herbal. Let's see, lion's mane. So this one, they have all of the different um, mushrooms. I don't know if you do all those different mushrooms, but if you, you know, if you use any of them, you could use each of those as a keywords. This one, they did wild, double extracted, reishi mushroom tincture. So it will be a little trickier and, and probably a, a little bit more challenging to find a lot of good keywords, but you just got to do your research and find as many as you can. So ginger tincture. Okay. So for this one, I'm a little bit more familiar with ginger. So I know ginger is good like for flu. Um, so you could try like flu. Um, sh you could try like flu shot tincture. So that's only got 382, not really that useful. Um, like flu. So it's okay. You could use something like that. 475. Reishi herbal extract wellness tincture. There we go. That's some suggestions from Karen and Deborah. So let's try that one. Reishi herbal extract, five hundred and eleven. Now I know this one is for a slightly different product, but still a good uh, suggestion right there. And then let's try wellness tincture. And let's see what we got. Seventeen and sixty-five. So that one's really nice, actually, right in that sweet spot of keywords. But you could always try stuff like um, flu. Um, you could try like natural flu medicine. I don't know what the keyword rules are about using the word medicine. I don't know what that what you can use there, but um, you know, right here. This is two other words, immunity elixir. That's a good keyword that you could you can use on probably some of your products. I'm not sure exactly, but probably that um, ginger one. You could try something like immunity elixir, and that is 857. And put that one down there, 857. Let's see, we've got it, Renee with immune booster. Let's try that. 3,045. Okay, so that's a good one there. 3,045. And then let's just add tincture to just make it even more relevant and see what we get there. 808. So again, it's kind of a balance sometimes between um, the amount of search, you know, the amount of results the keywords has and how big it is. So if you've already used the word tincture, like if you had a listing title and you use the words wellness tincture, immunity elixir, and immune booster, um, you don't necessarily need to use immune booster tincture uh, again because you've already used the word immune immune booster and you've already hit tincture. So you you know it doesn't make a huge difference. And then oh man, we got keyword suggestions out the wazoo. We got tincture for pain by from Jewel for fifteen oh eight. I don't know if you have any relevant to that. And then Jan says she likes the word natural. So let's try that. Let's try natural, natural flu um, booster. Or no, let's try natural immunity booster. We don't want to boost the flu. We're trying to not boost the flu. Natural immunity booster, 15, 19. So there you go. Another good idea oh man rob homeopathic that's another good one let's try homeopathic immunity booster so this is great i love it when we got people on coming up with a lot of different ideas and that one's got 495 so still a good keyword because your niche is a lot smaller so even keywords in the 495 range are going to be strong for you so this is what you kind of want to do you and each of these are a slightly different train of thought you know a slightly different way to explain the same thing we've got wellness we've got natural we've got homeopathic and it's great to mix those keywords up using different ways to describe the product um and and all those different little suggestions could help you out there